Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, who has kind of found herself in the middle of this, because if, if I'm not mistaken, Michelle, was it last week? You put something in a bill, it passed, Barney Frank then went back in and changed it on ACORN. Can you explain? Yes, it was in Financial Services Committee. I offered an amendment that would defund any organization who was indicted or convicted of voter fraud to prevent them from having access to taxpayer money, taxpayer grants. Barney Frank accepted the motion. Uh, he approved it. There was a voice vote. It was unanimous. And then after that, Barney Frank sent a memo out to his colleagues saying he had made a mistake and he wanted to gut the amendment and he invited his democrat colleagues to vote against uh... my amendment you know i have to tell you i don't know if arnie frank is in on something he is a useful idiot um, i mean i know he believes in a lot of stuff he believes in every american should have free housing i believe um, but nobody is standing up michelle in washington um, on the left um, and really coming uh, coming out. I mean, we, we have um, we have the Acorn Eight. They're still in Acorn, yeah. um, and they're looking for help. They're looking for help. Who's who's helping them, and why are they not helping them in uh, in Washington? Do you have a sense well, of what's going on? We're trying to help them because my my position is this, Glenn. No organization has a right to taxpayer funding. And, and if you look at ACORN, they have been the recipients of about $53 million in direct funding since 1994. Now with the stimulus bill and with the last budget bill, there's a potential that ACORN could have access to get this over $8 billion okay. potentially in grants. This uh, is serious money. Okay, America, so you understand, they are immediately going to say that, no, they're not. But you have to remember the over 200 organizations that are all centered in that. The ACORN may not go for it, but SCIU may go right. for it and pass right. it on. Right. It's all going into the same pot. Now, we have something right. here. This is, a, right. this is a statement from uh, Marcel Reed. She's the national chair of ACORN 8. She is the chairperson of ACORN in Washington, D.C. She says, the national board of ACORN 8 met last night and has called on all active ACORN members to stop paying their dues immediately until the questions about the finances are answered. She also, th these are both um, issued just a minute ago, this is breaking news here for, um, uh, for uh, on ACORN, uh, Michelle Reed and Karen Inman also um, asked last week on the program, is there anyone at all on Capitol Hill that could help track the money? Michelle, will you reach out to these people and help track the money? We have met with these people. I mean, there's so much here, and they're begging for anyone on Capitol Hill to help. Glenn, uh, tomorrow I'm having a press conference with one former ACORN member and her attorney. We're asking for an accounting, and we want to make sure that an organization that is under indictment isn't accessing taxpayer money. And my, my point last week in Congress is, will members of Congress stand with ACORN or will they stand with the taxpayer? We have a fiduciary duty to look out for the best interests of taxpayers. This can't continue. Okay. And so, yes, I'll be happy to go forward. Please. And unfortunately, Jerry Nadler had stopped uh, an investigation that Democrat Congressman John Conyers was calling for. Yes. But then Congressman Conyers stopped himself. And so now there's no hearing he, on ACORN he when didn't exactly just, there should be. He didn't just stop himself. He said exactly what Nadler said before. He was fighting with Nadler, yes. and all of a sudden he adopted Nadler's um, arguments and, and came out with a and statement. And Glenn, what was, amazing, what was amazing is last week two states handed out indictments against ACORN. I Nevada know. on Monday, Pennsylvania on Thursday. So just hours, hot off the presses before Michelle. members of Congress were voting against my amendment, they were indicted again. Listen. This is not, please make sure that anybody that you deal with there in Washington understands this is not 
about votes. This is not about Republicans versus Democrats. This is about corruption. And I'm telling you, this corruption oh. goes all through. This is huge. There's something that, big you're exactly here. Right. The other yes. thing is, Michelle, yes, I know exactly the person right. that you're you're going to have a press conference with tomorrow. I believe her story, but you do know that she she was fired from Acorn yes. um, because she yes. was using the corporate credit card. She was part of. You know her own little. Yes, and I would I would love to have Marcel read with us in this press conference okay. tomorrow. I don't know if she was available or not, but okay. I, I agree with you. I understand that there's some questions. The real point is Acorn. We need congressional hearings. We need to get to the bottom of this because again, there's a potential for access to eight billion dollars of taxpayer money. This is really bad stuff. Okay, thank you very much, Michelle. I appreciate.